Welcome to my video where I'll be installing system on MSI GX680. This laptop is currently configured to utilize write array. I've made another video that there will be a link for it in the description with information about how to configure the write array on a laptop. So if you would like to know how to do this, please have a look and that will show you all the information. So as for now, this is already set up and over here we'll just proceed with a installation of Windows on it. So I'll just switch on the laptop. And you can see that over here we have a write array. And now it goes to boot device selection. So I'll just go and insert my Windows 10 installation media. So let's pull it there. And now when we are selecting the boot device, I'll select the optical drive and boot from it. And that will load the Windows installation. And now we can see the initial Windows setup screen. So that will let us to choose the language that we want to install the Windows in. So in my case, that's uh, United Kingdom, because that's where I live. So let's click on next. And now let's click on install now. Let's take us to the screen where we are accepting the license. So let's click on that, accept it. Let's click on next. And over here, we're clicking on install Windows only. And on the next screen, we can see that here's our right array that we have configured earlier. And at this moment on this laptop, there's completely nothing because once I've configured the right array, it have wiped all the data from, from the hand drives. But if you'll be just installing the Windows, please bear in mind that until this point, if you'd like to recover your data from, from your laptop or you'd like to back up something, you have to do it beforehand because once we're installing the Windows, all the data will be wiped out. However, in my case, I've just uh, configured the right array and now I have my logical drive over here, which is completely empty space. So I can just click on next. However, if you have some partitions over here or something like that you'll have to delete them and then you can click on next after that so let's go next and at this point windows is starting copying the files so all the data is now being installed on a hard drive so that's installing the operating system itself so let's skip this process because it takes a while so right now as you can see windows is finalizing the process of copying files to the hard drive and soon it will reboot itself and it will continue the installation after the reboot. Here we go. You can click on restart now. Now the laptop is booting again. However, this time we want to boot it from the hard drive not from the optical drive. So let's click on enter the volume zero, which is our write array. And the way how write array is working right now, it's uh, working like one big hard drive that contains a total space from both hard drives uh, inside the laptop. So now Windows is getting ready and restarting. So we are booting up again. So now the Windows is asking us to provide a key for our network. So I'll just go and sign into mine. So I'll just type my key and now I'll connect to my Wi-Fi network by clicking on next. And over here we can customize some settings 
and I'll just use the extra settings and here we can join the Azure Open Directory this is the option if you have some sort of component network and Office 365 configured over there however I don't have this so I'll just uh, use the local Active Directory domain and now I'll click on next there is a question for the username of the laptop so I'll just put MSI over there because it's the name of my laptop and let's click on next here we can decide if we want to use Cortana as our personal assistant so I'll just say yes because why not and after this operation our Windows is welcoming us and now we have operating system for the setup on this laptop that's just final settings so I'm getting set up right now and here we go so now the first thing we want to do is to install a graphics driver on it normal GX 680 will use NVIDIA driver because there's a NVIDIA card in it however inside this laptop I have over here I have changed the graphics card from original NVIDIA to AMD card so hold on let's just download some normal browser here yeah so let's go and download chrome so yes yeah, so this will set up the chrome browser on this laptop you can close the internet explorer now So the download of Chrome browser is now completed. It's installing on our laptop. And hey, we have a Chrome browser. So now let's go to, in my case, that's the AMD website. In your case, on MSI 680R, that would probably a NVIDIA website to get a driver. Now I'll select my graphics card. So I have AMD Radeon HD 5870, which is this one. Yep. Oh, well, actually, in the meantime, Windows have installed the proprietary driver for it, which is probably helping. But I want to have a original AMD software on this laptop. So now I'll just go and download the revision 571 with high quality. So this is now downloading my software driver. I'm doing this because when I was using the Windows proprietary driver, it had some issues when watching the YouTube videos. There were some weird artifacts on the screen. So once I reinstalled the driver for the proper AMD driver, this issue have disappeared. So that's why I'm doing this. Okay, so the driver is downloaded. Now we can install it. So let's go install. And that's installing the AMD driver for my graphics card. So yeah, so at this point we have a fully working operating system. There's everything over here. There's a browser, we have an internet, and now we'll have a proper graphics driver as well. So this is a fully usable laptop. What you want to do probably right now, you want to just install your favorite software, like maybe, I don't know, some sort of office suit or whatever else you are using on a daily basis. So here we go, that's our setup from AMD. Let's go with Express Settings. And some sort of access device, so I'll just switch that off. Let's go next. Let's accept the license. And this is installing the operating driver. Actually, because I've configured the write array on this laptop, I can already see that it's working far more quicker than it was uh, before I've done it. So if I'll go to my computer, You can see that there's a hard drive over here. However, even when it shows that the 914 gigabytes of space used out of 933 gigabytes, this is only a logical drive that's made up from two physical hard drives. And because we have a write controller switched on, 
it's appearing over here as one drive but still like under the hood is still using two hard drives it's just saving and reading from them simultaneously at the same point so you can see that our write volume is working properly right now we have installed the graphics driver so it's already using the AMD software it's normal that screen might flicker a bit during the installation as well if you would like to know how to switch those lights that are around this laptop i've made another video that's on youtube there'll be a link for that in the description the video was made originally for msi gx660 however it will work for gx680 in the same way so if you'd like to know that please have a look so yeah now the driver is installed so we can click on finish and now it's asking us to reboot the system so let's do that And now the system has started and you can see that we have a AMD Catalyst control center available. And you can see that the driver is installed properly. So over here we can tweak it for like for example like, yeah, just add some sort of gaming mode to make it working better or quicker with the games. So yeah, so so that's the installation process of how to install the operating system with Riot Array on MSI GX 680R. Thank you very much for watching and please remember to subscribe to see my other videos and see you next time.